so I already served the pizza here at Palm Springs. Now I'm going to go out and we're going to, this is the fine dining <laughs> here at the Demora's. So nice we're going to, we got to find out exactly. Poolside. Well, what do you think about this pizza I made? Well, let me try it. Let me take a bite. I think Al got to most of it, but he left some for me. Did you loosen the cavity or something? I mean, are your teeth okay, or is that? <laughs> no, it's not pain. <laughs> that is good pizza. Ah, okay, that is so really good pizza. Now, if you were, if you were going to rate this pizza, and I want you to be completely honest, if you're going to rate this pizza from one to ten, what would you give this pizza? A nine and a half. Ah, okay. Only, only for the crust. That the crust could have been a little crispier. Okay. But the taste of the cheese is incredible. And this bologna, salami, what is it? Pepperoni? It's pepperoni. The pepperoni, I think it was organic, right? Or some kind of... Let's just no say it was really good pepperoni. From Trader Joe's. From and Trader Joe's. really good. Okay, so but, compared to the pizza that you're getting here, mm -hmm. Would you rather have this pizza or the pizza that you've been buying wherever you got it? This pizza. All righty then. That's my what I'm looking for. We're heart. looking for quality. I am so blessed to have my brother-in-law that likes to cook when he comes down. <laughs> Even though we gain a lot of weight when he does, but yeah. hey. What's as long as you're for? squeezing the buttocks. It's familia. <laughs> now we're going to we're gonna get, yeah, thank you. We're going to get. Al Demore out here because he ate most of this pizza. We're going to do the same thing with Al, fine dining experience to find out what he says about Frank Demora's pizza. As a matter of fact, here he comes right now. Ooh, this is, by the way, is the famous auto maker, Al Demora. He's the CEO of Cline. Cline Coachworks. Now it's the Demora Motor Car Company. <laughs> Of course, All sibling right. rivalry. Is this a trick? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, it actually flies in our yeah, It flies like it, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah, it's very tasty. It's, um, it's got a little bit of crust to it. A little bit. And uh, it's got a nice uh, little flavor to it. And, Did um, you get a pepperoni stuck in your throat? If or what? I had to uh, <laughs> consider eating it again, well... Maybe, maybe. I'll try it. <laughs> He's just jealous, Frank. Mm. Mm. Okay, so what I asked this. here, now that you already consumed a pizza and a half and you're giving me <laughs> a critique on it, on a 1 to 10 scale, what would you rate this? I'd have to rate it, um, well, let me think. You can't count. <laughs> a nine and three quarters. Oh, okay. No, that's pretty good. A yeah. More than because because the quarter left there, you know, you can't have a hundred percent perfection. See. Yes, you can. I what mean, reason is it one quarter less? Yeah. It's my reasons. I don't need a reason. Well, I had a reason. <laughs> I had a good reason. Well, what's yours? Your reason? Well, I think the uh, pepperoni should have had a little bit of um, pepperoni. Is good, but it's not New York pepperoni. It tastes like Trader Joe's pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are in Palm Springs. Would you rather have this pizza or would you rather have some other pizza here at Palm Springs? I wouldn't want to have Costco or Domino's or Caesar's Palace or <laughs> Caesar's Palace. That's in Las Vegas. I know. <laughs> This guy's a bright guy over here. He's better than Las Vegas, right? He's really a smart guy. He knows where Las Vegas is. He's <laughs> in his palace. No, seriously, this is really good. Yeah, all right. That's that's it. So here we no, are. It's got a nice flavor. It's got a nice salt. No, the, not too much salt. Got a nice little sugar tang to it. Yeah. And now that we've consumed all this pizza, no, we got, didn't get a workout cooking, spicy. so now we like have to go it. ride bikes. I like the back side of it. The backside, like like this, like not too oily. The crust, <laughs> it's crunchy. Look, a Vanna White. Yeah, sure, I'm doing the Vanna White. So if you can get a pizza, what you're looking for, if you can get a pizza, that you can hold that slice of pizza up in your hand, and the thing doesn't droop down and drip, 
That's a good crust because it's firm. There you go. That's what we're looking for. That's a good pizza. But this so, is the old pizza trick. Cause see the slice? It's a small slice. But if you take a big slice, it still does it. Oh. Well, no. we won't count that because it was too big. Yeah, see? but it's it's still holding up. It now, looks... I, I have given pizza to the coyote in the past, mm -hmm. but this pizza I don't think is going to be listen, given to the coyote. do me a favor. She's German. Don't listen to her. Forget about <laughs> it. You don't want to listen to the Germans. Oh, shush. You Italian, <laughs> Italian Mussolini? Uh, I'm telling you, Frank, Frank, careful. She's German. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So anyway, that's here at Palm Springs. It's a success. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. Oh, we, at least you. we had a great time performing yeah, here. So yeah, the can. next time we're going to make German Polish sausage with sauerkraut, lemons, <laughs> asparagus, and beets. Ooh, no way. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, no that way. That was very good. Okay. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to tune in for the next whatever meal I make. Yes, will be good. <laughs> and make sure, squeeze those buttocks.